Success is not accidental, and it doesn't happen overnight, it is actually the result of forming good habits. Such habits are not necessarily fun, but the results are worthwhile. Successful people lead themselves out of their comfort zone and do the things they do not enjoy to get the results they want in their lives. In this video, we're going to explore the 12 shocking habits of successful people. By adopting these habits in your life you can be sure to achieve success in all facets of your life. 1. Self-improvement. The most successful people are always looking for ways to develop themselves. There is no doubt that nobody is perfect. Even the famous and rich people we like to idolize just like us, have many weaknesses. But unlike most of us, they make a habit of bettering themselves. How do they make this happen? Instead of telling you how I will tell you how they don't. Successful people don't obtain success by being the best all the time. It's easy to believe that successful people have always been successful, but they were beginners at one point too. They made mistakes like you and failed to the top of their field. Even now, they are constantly learning new things, trying to adopt new strategies, and working to stay ahead of the curve. You should know that no matter how rich, old, or experienced you are learning never stops. The biggest room in this world is that of self-development. 2. Waking up early. Most successful people realize that a basic change in routine can make all the difference. By kicking off each morning by 5 a.m. they are adding plenty of productive time to their day. You might be thinking, but shouldn't you have to go to bed early to wake up early? Wouldn't that mean your day is the same length? You are right. However, not all time is created equal. Studies have shown that productivity peaks first thing in the morning when our minds and bodies are fresh and full of energy. Many people try to achieve their goals after work, only to end up too tired or preoccupied. If you want to be successful, trade in a night wasted browsing social media or watching Netflix for a morning of accelerated productivity. Get a head start and make your ambitions a reality while everyone else is sleeping. 3. Be yourself don't conform. Whether you know it or not conformity is a great social force that influences nearly every decision you make, but only if you let it. People say that you should think outside the box, but let me tell you this. If you want to be successful you need to live outside the box as well. If you spend every day trying to copy what is what you see on TV or what is popular, you are missing one of the most important parts of success innovation. Successful individuals take advantage of the contemporary world by putting their own touch on it. They recognize a problem and come up with a unique solution rather than just following in someone else's steps. People who don't conform make a place for themselves offering a service that no one else can provide. Successful people also steer away from comparison by ignoring social norms which can be harmful to motivation and productivity. Nowadays, it is far too easy to judge your own work against thousands of others, don't fall into that trap. Successful people think for themselves and come up with projects that reflect them as unique persons not whatever happens to be popular at that time. 4. Mild Procrastination Everyone knows that procrastination is the enemy of productivity, so how is it that successful people procrastinate all the time? There are two types of procrastination. Number 1. Passive procrastination. It's about delaying any project for days on end. Number 2. Active or strategic procrastination. It's used to increase performance. For many critical thinkers being early can be just as dangerous as being late. By acting before the proper or appropriate time they leave too much room for self-doubt and anxiety to ruin the flow of their work. So, instead of starting something important right away, successful people manage to prioritize urgent projects while procrastinating important ones leaving exactly the amount of time they need to get it done the first time. Take this situation, as an executive at a thriving company. Your days are always flooding with urgent responsibilities, however, you have a huge presentation in five weeks. Should you get an early start on the presentation or address what is in front of you first? As a strategic procrastinator, you might postpone doing the presentation to prioritize your instant responsibilities. You might notice that I never mentioned leisure, that's because strategic procrastination only works when you are putting off work to do other work. 
So, whenever you don't feel like working on your most important project, try focusing on something a little easier or less time-consuming. 5. Read, read and read some more. It's no coincidence that some of the world's most successful people are also avid readers. Executives like Elon Musk and Warren Buffett read for hours every single day. Why? Because reading and success go together like fries and ketchup. Numerous studies have shown the advantages of reading regularly. Reading is a lot like going to the gym. It significantly lowers stress levels, helps you sleep better by relaxing your mind and body. While all that is well and good the biggest advantage of reading is knowledge. So choose the right books, read every day and you'll start making progress in no time. 6. Exercising Consistency Successful people believe that every achievement is built on a strong foundation. While reading and creative writing educate your mind, a consistent exercise routine provides the physical energy you need to achieve your goals and stay healthy. By working out, you're letting your body operate at 100%. When chasing after your prize you can feel sharp, positive, and invincible, instead of wasting your time with fatigue or illness. Apart from feeling good you also look good. When it comes to appearances and everything, your self-esteem can make you or let you down. Obtaining success requires ambition, decisiveness, and confidence. Self-loathing will stop any project even before it starts, so don't let it bring you down. Exercising conditions you to make schedules, and attain weekly or monthly goals. This healthy habit can be directly transferred to work and help you learn how to set achievable expectations. Over time you'll learn to take more pleasure in the small victories on your way to success. 7. Making Necessary Sacrifices Whether you are opening your own business or starting a brand, you'll have to make sacrifices. Successful people are better at making sacrifices than anyone else. Between personal life, family, work, and friends, it may feel like there isn't enough time in the day to realize your ambitions. Let me tell you that you are wrong. Every successful person had the same problem but they managed to make sacrifices without losing their sanity. If they can do it so can you. One of the first things to go is almost always spare time. Every successful person had to start somewhere. And, for most people that somewhere wasn't exactly suitable. They squeezed their dream in whenever they could, even if that meant little to no time for fun. Yes, this can be an exhausting way to live but that just makes lifestyle choices like a healthy diet and exercise even more crucial. Your goals might mean a few years of demanding work, time away from your family, or financial instability but by making those sacrifices you are cultivating a better work ethic and investing in your future success. 8. Learn from failure. Any triumphant person will tell you that failure isn't just inevitable it's golden but only if you know how to profit from it. I wish I could tell you that all of your ambitions will come to life smoothly, but you are destined to run into a few barriers along the way. According to psychology, reviewing your failures can have exceptional effects on your attitude and productivity. It may seem witless and tiresome but success depends on your potential to learn how and why you failed. To list an example, just ask Bill Gates whose first business Trafo data didn't make it. However, this didn't stop Bill Gates to aim higher. The lessons he learned from his first failed business contributed to the foundation of the world's biggest company we know today, Microsoft. 9. Spend money. One of the best tactics in business is that you need to spend money to make money. This could mean buying better equipment or hiring experts, but real success entails more than a few extrinsic changes. The most successful people actively shift their focus from current expenses to the potential profit in the future. Instead of cutting costs and finding shortcuts, they invest in their success by taking calculated risks up front. Think about it this way, if you could lower expenses by 30% or invest in something that increases revenue by 30% which option is more profitable? The former is instantly more productive but the latter eventually promotes the growth of your business, providing more money to reinvest in yourself. This change in attitude promotes one of the most essential tools for anyone looking for success, delayed gratification. According to psychology, 
the ability to postpone gratification determines success better than almost anything. By regularly deferring rewards we are nurturing self-discipline and productivity. Think about expenses and gains in the same way. 10. Networking. It's all about who you know. I'm sure that everyone has heard this phrase before and it's true. The most successful people aren't just great at their work, they are also excellent networkers. They're always on the guard for useful contacts, future partners, or maybe potential employers and... After all, these contacts could be the difference between their business and unemployment. So, why not do everything you can to be a great networker? It's no secret that successful people do a great job at creating these networks than most. It feels like they can make a hundred lasting relationships effortlessly. But they didn't start that way. They've gotten this good after years of experience. Networking skills aren't inherited, so go out there and practice. Join groups of like-minded individuals, volunteer for a new project. Take a few extra minutes to get to know people you meet. You never know who you'd find by your side the next time you need them. 11. Daily Meditation Numerous scientific studies have shown that 20 minutes of daily meditation can mitigate stress, increase memory retention, and strengthen problem-solving skills. But how can sitting in silence be so good for you? The key is learning to meditate the right way. What is the right way? Well, it's pretty simple. First, choose what type of meditation you want to practice. Do you want to challenge your mind or do you want to reflect on past emotions? For now let's say that you want to concentrate on your future goals, begin by assuming a comfortable pose. Sit on the floor, lay in your bed, or even stand in an empty room. Once you are comfortable, fixate on each breath, feeling the airflow in and out of your body. Slowly shift your attention to your goals, repeating them over and over. Remain mindful of every time your thoughts begin to wander, and if they do, gently refocus your mind. You may not be able to meditate for more than a few minutes at first but it's worth practicing. Some of the most successful entrepreneurs in the world make time to meditate every single day. For example philanthropist Oprah Winfrey and LinkedIn CEO Jeff Winner, both use meditation to make clear decisions and navigate through life challenges. Meditation does not work for everybody but it can be a relaxing and healthy way to reach success. 12. Try creative writing. Have you noticed that many of the world's successful entrepreneurs are also published, authors? Most of them aren't exactly the most articulate wordsmiths, so what gives? Well, it turns out that creative writing is a tremendous way to get inspired, obtain clarity, and grow the confidence you need to succeed. By writing about your life and your perspective you can deeply explore your own story while realizing how you got where you are today. Creative writing can reassert that you've embarked on the right path or inspire you to find an entirely new calling. That's the beauty of creative freedom. You never know where exactly it might take you. But what if you aren't a creative person? The truth is that creativity plays as big a role in success as motivation or discipline. Even if you don't think you are very creative try some journaling or write a short story. Set aside your expectations for some time to see what you're capable of. Your work may not be published anytime soon but you'd be surprised at how many doors a little imagination can unlock.